Let the church say amen. Amen one more time. Amen one more time. Let's give it to Jesse Jackson. Let's give it to Bob King. Let's give it to John Carney. Let's give it to the labor. Let's say any labor people in the house. Any church people in the house. Any workers in the house. Who are upset with the way things are in the house? Yeah. If there's anybody in the house that want to do something about what's going on in the house? Yeah. Years ago in 1963, Dr. King came downtown Detroit and he said three things in that speech that led to Washington. He said three little words that we must reflect upon. Those words are here, those words are now, and those words are all. First of all, we want all that America has to give to us. We want it right here in the city of Detroit, which is where we all live, and in this community in this state. And we want it now. We don't want to wait. We want the same kind of benefits and programs that the Congress has. We want the same kind of benefits and programs that the Senate has. We want the same kind of benefits and programs that they have in Iraq and Afghanistan. Yeah. If we can rebuild schools in Iraq, if we can have national health care in Iraq, yeah. if we can build up businesses in Iraq, yeah. if we can pay farmers not to grow stuff in Afghanistan, right. if we can pay people that we have come down on in Iraq and Afghanistan, then we can put Americans back to work yeah. in Detroit, yeah. in Chicago, in New York, and all over this country. Years ago, on a situation just like this, on a day just like this, it was a beautiful day. It was a glorious day. A woman by the name of Sojourner Truth, Jesse, was speaking in upstate New York. She was speaking to a crowd just like this, on a beautiful, glorious day that God has given to the people. Standing in the back, and she was talking about jobs and rights for women and rights for minorities. There was a heckler in the back, and he kept on heckling Sojourner Truth. He said, finally, old woman, what you are saying to me means about as much as a flea buzzing around the rear end of an elephant. Sojourner Truth looked at the man. She scrunched her head and said, oh man, that's all right. You might not like my buzzing, but I'm doggone sure gonna keep you scratching. We must keep America scratching. We must scratch for job. We gotta scratch for justice. We gotta scratch for peace. Blessed are the peacemakers. Let justice flow down like mighty water and flow like an ever righteous stream. Let jobs flow. The laborers are worthy of their hire. Are you worthy of your hire? Are you worthy of your job? Are you worthy of your family? Are you worthy of your city? Are you worthy of your state? Then let's go ahead and fight for justice, fight for jobs, and fight for peace. God bless you.